Hey everyone, it's uh, November the 12th. Uh, we've come out to this little point. I think we're still on Visayas Island, but this jets out. It's fairly windy, so I don't know how the wind noise is coming in. But yeah, this is kind of my dream lifestyle where I'd have a house up on the thick, you know, thick of the mountain and uh, come down here at night and mornings and watch the sunsets and rises and stargaze so i'm strongly considering uh relocating to something like this as soon as i can get more assistance and information because you need uh, you know i need some electricity and some uh, internet for my blogging but uh but this is uh what i dreamed when i moved here this is pretty uh thick so that wouldn't be suitable i'm not sure what's on the other side but there's a lot of a uh, Looks like a variety of bamboo, I'll call it. But just beautiful. This is the uh, kind of northern side of the island, so it's very windy. And uh, so you'll probably be getting some uh, wind gust here. So I just wanted to share, it's the first time I've ever been here, but there's 7,600 and some islands here in the Philippines and uh, all kinds of different ones. And this is uh, just very common. So, but, uh, and it's much more beautiful in person. So it's a sandy, rocky beach. Uh, lots of uh, the white particles of coral and seashells has gotten broken up by the surf. So it's Sunday. I think it's about two or three o'clock in the afternoon, I believe, maybe one. But uh, just fabulous. Let's see if I can. Uh, climb up to this rock. I don't know how slick these sh shoes are. Take you out to the point. Maybe quite windy. My balance isn't as good as it used to be. But yeah, just beautiful. Back there is the main part of the, the Sias Island. We come out, we're near Brock Dikeviho here, Elo Elo. So there's a few fishing platforms. So just beautiful. I assume this is all lava rock. It's uh, various colors here. It's mainly uh, reddish brown, but I have seen it work. So. All black. Back there's the gang I came with. That's our boat there. So I think we're either going to swim here or swim, swim somewhere on the, just around the point. The water's more calm. They said they came here yesterday because uh, the family I'm with, uh, one of the uh, girls there in the white BB, she, uh, or B, she uh, owns that boat, or her family does. I think it's hers, but says so she's able to do this type of stuff all the time. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely what uh, you dream of when you come to the Philippines. I mean, there's other places where the water's more clear. Like I said, this is the rough surf, so it turns up the water and makes it a little bit more dirty, but uh, it's still nice. And there's all kinds of things in the Philippines there where you have some almost white sand to brown sand, all kinds of different islands and stuff. So this is pretty cool. A lot of uh, native trees, like I said, I believe that's a variety of bamboo, but somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, there's, that'd be almost impossible to hike up through, I would think. But somebody might have a trail up there. It's hard to see it's so thick down here on the edge. But I think the money shot is like these uh, boards off in here. So that's a little point there. Just around the point there is that uh, it goes back on the other side of the island. It's kind of back down to something a little more reasonable. But yeah, beautiful day. Waves are about, I would say, two to three feet high. Maybe higher, maybe four. So, minimum of two to maybe high is four. So, we're going to eat some uh, different things. I guess they brought some rice, no surprise. And we got some... Uh, 
bread and peanut butter and uh, some drinks. We all chipped in about, I, I think, uh, three bucks a piece for gas and food. So pretty reasonable day. So you get to come to this island and hang out with some people and it uh, costs you three dollars. Where can you do that? In America, this would probably be a $25, $50 little outing. So pretty wonderful. So it just amazes me when I think of things like that. I to be there, so it's just really nice. That's everybody. So I don't, I can't remember everybody's name here. I, I know who they are, I just can't remember their names. So hopefully, like I said, apologize that the wind is really making the audio not so great, but uh, I haven't really figured out a way to hold it or get away from that. So but I'm not going to make you stop for 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll get back here to the group so they're all in the shade. That's a strange thing here in the Philippines is people, uh, the locals just uh, really uh, can't take the sun or don't like the sun so much. But me, I'm like, I don't want to get out of it. It's wonderful. So yeah, they got a little fire. We'll walk over here and look at everybody. So. But yeah, it's beautiful late afternoon or uh, mid-afternoon here, Sunday. November the 12th, and we're out here swimming and 80, 85 degrees. So, hey, hey, hi, hey. Hi. You want to say your names? Eric, Andre, Jody, Precious, Barney, Barney, back there. Lolita. <laughs> Lolita. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who's this? Who's this one in the white? Anita. Anita. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? What's that fish? Yeah. Yeah, some big Okay, some mackerel? Bangrod. Bang. Bangrod. I give a fish. It's a milk fish. No, oh, I know milk yeah, fish. Milk yeah. Fish. I eat that in America. So they're first fixing some fish, so yeah. There's some the crew that came with us. So. All right, well, that's it from Terry's Philippine Journey. Just a minute. Go over there, take a picture. All right. All right, that's it from Terry's Philippine Journey. Thanks for watching.